Hi, guys, this is the, your introduction to unit three and the first session, or half of the first session. Um, so I'm just going to spend a little bit of time explaining what unit three is, and then we'll kind of crack on. Um, unit three is called crime scene to courtroom. So basically, we're going to go through the whole process up from who's involved at a crime scene and getting all the evidence right through to how juries make decisions a lot of this is really some there's some really really interesting stuff here but the focus of a lot of this is how good people are at doing their jobs okay so we have to do lots about what they do how they do it find cases where they've done it but importantly evaluate how well people have done okay so that's the emphasis on a lot of the criteria so these are the criteria that we will go through for unit three and there are 11 criteria i believe um but quick mass quick mass form, form. yes that's correct um the plan is that we will finish ac 2.1 before the summer holidays if we have them no we'll have the holidays will we back in time well who knows okay but can you see the marks involved for the first two criteria 10 and 20 so this is 30 percent of your controlled assessment okay um so if you look at the kind of the terminology evaluate assess explain examine understand okay draw conclusions quite higher order level stuff so this is a sh this is different than unit one and unit two however in many ways is very familiar okay so we will have a controlled assessment again eight hours folder of notes tasks links to cases spread over several days okay it's, the the two things that we don't know first of all when the devil we're going to be doing this the plan would have been end of no end of december like last year but obviously with everything going on they might be brought forward a little bit okay so um, we'll make that decision when we know what everything is and we can examine it and get all the invigilators so don't worry about it okay um, it's exactly the same idea okay again this will be 50 percent of your unit of your second year grade so you know the importance of keeping up with work okay um, as far as i'm saying it's a clean slate now okay but I, please keep up to date. If you are carrying on, you have to stay up to date, okay? Um, so you know the score. Any questions about any of this, do just ask, okay? Just pop an email or actually put it on Teams because if you're asking the question, someone else is probably aren't thinking the same thing. So the first criteria, okay? Evaluate the effectiveness of the roles of the personnel involved in criminal investigations. Okay, so this is where TV has skewed what you think happens massively, okay, which is super interesting. Obviously, you can see how that links to unit one. So, this is a 10 mark question, okay, in your controlled assessment. And if you look at the band three, clear and detailed evaluation of the effectiveness of roles. Okay, the personnel involved are clearly discussed in terms of potential limitations. And this is the issue, this is my bugbear. We kind of, we, we need to be looking at when, in cases where personnel have mucked up, so like the police, the forensic scientists, the medical examiners, the Crown Prosecution Service. But they do a fantastic job virtually all the time. So it, I do always feel like we're kind of nitpicking here. But we have to evaluate the effectiveness. We have to know pros and cons, and then we're going to focus on the cons, but then talk about how effective they are each kind of role that kind of happens. So I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what are the personnel? Okay, and we'll we'll come come on to that. Okay, I think I've said all of this. Okay, um, probably the only key thing here is cases. You have to do thorough research to show the limitations of cases. Okay, so the personnel involved, we, we need to do eight. So we're going to police officers, crime scene investigators, forensic scientists, forensic specialists, the CPS, pathologists, the National Crime Agency, 
and the HMS, HM Revenues and Customs. And for each of those, you can see we need these eight things. So what do they do? The strengths, the limitations, I'm gonna talk about more of that next, a case, and then a final judgment. And guess what you need to be able to do to get the best marks here? That's right, a final evaluation of the effectiveness. Okay. So the limitations element of this, the kind of key parts we will be focused on is the cost of the role, how expertise are and how readily available they are okay you will be doing loads of independent research on this okay i've got loads of links on my moodle site okay to documents to help you but you're gonna have to spend time reading them and summarizing them okay this is really good prep for further studying um i have outlined them but you need to delve into them a bit more so the first people we're going to look at are the police, which many of you want to go into, which is cracking. Um, so what do the police do? If you search this on YouTube, a Cheshire Police, a Den Life, you'll have a quick little view of, of what they do. Do look, because they will be using something that we're going to be using for the next criteria. Okay, so watch that, then move on. Okay, so the police do loads of different things. There's obviously loads of specialist roles. Okay, but a basic police officer, the bobby on the street, as it were. Okay, they have kind of three main kind of jobs here. Okay, first of all, they have to safeguard everyone, make sure no one else is in, at harm, call for help if they need it. Okay, they will, may have to make the arrest and kind of do all the work with that. Um, and then to, and this is really important, is to preserve the crime scene. Okay, we have to collect evidence. If evidence has been tampered with, we can't use it. So can you imagine there's a burglary and then all of a sudden there's millions of footprints going through the house. Who do we know whose is whose? So it's pointless. So we have to stop. We're not allowed anyone to touch anything, to go near the place. This is where TV mucks up. You'll get everyone in there. No, limited people will be actually at the crime scene doing stuff. Okay. Um, so that's kind of the main important roles of the police officer in terms of crime scene investigation. So the good things about the police is they are regulated independent police commissions. Um, they make sure the police are doing their job properly in individual police. They are trained um, after you kind of do your couple of years on the street as a constable, you get to kind of specialize and move on. So that means they are experts. OK, they are absolutely crucial to investigation work um, and they are hugely committed you know again on tv they kind of look at all the dirty cops and stuff that doesn't happen like it does but it doesn't really okay and there's loads of cases where police have just gone over and above think about what's happening at the moment with like the army i know it's slightly different and the police they are doing far more than they could should even um, to try and help okay as many of us are they're hugely committed the Shannon Matthews case which is a horrible case but it's a good one to kind of look at so the limitations budget cut I'm going to do a little bit more on each of the on some of these after this slide but the budget cuts are slashing oh my god after after what's going on now <sighs> might be slashed even more because we'll have no revenue okay so this is why the economy is so important so how available are the police okay we now rely on more cheaper options we use cctv which we've done stuff on and sometimes we use the special specials again on the top left here you'll see a youtube search watch that so you can find out what a special is so it means the expertise might not be there okay gloucester police have shut three quarters of their police stations over this decade, so how available are they? When I grew up, every village had their own police officer, okay, who lived in the village and knew everything. Remember, we've talked about broken windows and the need for police communities. That's what we used to have, um, but that's changed. Um, we know about downfalls of stereotyping and racial profiling linked to labeling theory. Um, the, the Stephen Lawrence case you'll see is, is, is massive there. Workload of police officers is skyrocketing. OK, so that means they're not going to be as available as very much. Um, however, we're working on the expertise. Um, they're currently 
here's obviously you need to graduate university to go to police and obviously now the, the apprenticeship route so how life experienced are some of these people becoming police officers for the first time okay so you need to do lots of research on all the articles on Moodle summarize and kind of get these into kind of good explanations but focus on cost availability and expertise it's like have these headings okay and make sure you kind of do everything for it okay you've covered each of the three at least once okay. so I asked you a, a bit I said I'd do a little bit more on this um, funding even though how much we fund the police has gone up in real terms because obviously the cost of everything increases for example when I first filled up my car when I was 19 of petrol it cost 60p a litre okay what is it now 120 normally it's about 15 110 now um, during what's going on okay um, so when they've worked it out it means the police have actually been funded 19% less we haven't got the next figures there because they're done every 10 years um, so they've, they've actually had a massive cut okay so obviously that limits the availability how much does it cost to run the police and where does all the kind of work go um, you'll see here not even half the money goes on frontline visible police officers they go in back room the specialist areas and, and the offices this is all needed but it means it's not always being used on the front line where people can see see the police officers where people think they should be okay and linked to the budget cuts is the number of police officers you'll see here there is a dramatic fall 10 years ago on how many police officers there are and if you think over this was what's this graph for 45 years the population has risen massively and while the police levels have only raised a little bit by 10,000 question here is obviously Boris Johnson when he became Prime Minister recently said he was going to get 20,000 more police officers so we'll see if that does appear or not okay um, so loads of stuff on this so what else do I need you to do so research one of these cases Stephen Lawrence is a key one okay um, and make sure you've got what happened in the case what was the role what mistakes they had and the impact on the overall case okay but do any of these it might be worthwhile googling all four and find out which one you're most interested in and then I've got a link here to some not funny things that police have done wrong but to show you that it happens okay um, and then the final thing is to get a judgment so make a decision on how effective the police are in their roles explain why and then refer to the evidence to support your case so what I need you to do is go back to the slide where it had the, the eight things that you need to do make sure you do all of these but kind of work your way through this to help you any questions as always just yell okay thanks guys bye